Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, as you can tell, is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually sitting in front of a big window and I'm filming this with my iPhone. I need to remember to look into the camera and not like at myself because it's the selfie mode. But yeah, I just kind of got tired of doing the same kind of YouTube format and I wanted to change it up. And nowadays you can actually upload vertical videos on YouTube, so I thought, 70% of you guys actually watch my videos on your phone anyway, so why not try this? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this format. Let me know if you guys like it, if you want to see more uh, videos like this because I'm literally at work right now in front of a big window on my iPhone. This is the office. That's my desk. I'm usually sitting right there. It's a little messy right now. So like I said, I wanted to change it up. So let me know what you guys think of the format. And if there's anything, any adjustments you think I should make, whether that's audio or whatever it is, just let me know. But today's look is going to be on this kind of like holiday inspired natural glittery look because I wanted to I wanted to do a smoky eye, but I didn't want it to be super overwhelming. I wanted it to be kind of like natural and easy to achieve. But then at the same time, I wanted to play with glitter, but the same concept, I didn't want it to feel overwhelming. So this is kind of like the look I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy it. And for this week's question of the week, I'm actually gonna have KB ask you guys because I don't have a question this week. So let's see what he's got going on. So what's the question of the week? Who enjoys the glitter makeup look or who opts in for the natural look? Only? Oh, so you're gonna make it makeup related. It doesn't have to be makeup related. It could be anything. It could be like literally anything. Okay. Coffee or tea? Coffee or tea? Coffee or tea. Clearly having so much fun. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this look and yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with my primer. I'm gonna go in with my usual Dr. Brand pores. No more. I'm just gonna use a persona brush to just get this around my larger pores, kind of mattify that area. I'm also right in front of a window, so hopefully this lighting doesn't change on me because that would suck. Usually I film with like, you know, studio lighting and stuff like that, so it's kind of easier to control the light, but I do have to say I personally love natural lighting whenever I shoot photos or videos, so hopefully you guys enjoy this lighting as well, but it might change here and there. For my foundation, I'm trying the Clinique foundation. I don't think I've ever used this before, maybe ages ago, I'm not sure, but it says it's fragrance-free, which I'm like such a fan of. Um, I don't like foundations with tons of fragrance in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. Make sure it's my color. It's reading a little pink on my skin, or like peach on my skin. Not totally my perfect shade, but that's okay. We'll make it work. It is Monday, by the way. I'm filming this on a Monday. I'm not sure what day of the week it'll go up, but I had the weekend to kind of just chill, relax. I didn't do much this weekend, which was really nice. So it gave me kind of energy. And I don't know, whenever I don't do much over the weekend, I, I miss work a lot and like I miss filming and stuff. So I couldn't wait to come in and film and get into the groove and the grind of things. So for my concealer, I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy, and this is in Custard. I've used this so many times on my channel, but it's just a really good creamy concealer. And then I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender to blend this in. I don't know why there's like weird white stuff. Actually, I do know why there's white stuff on my brows. I used this brow gel. Oh, I look so much brighter and more awake. I do need to set this in place, so I'm just gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I haven't used this in a minute, actually. So you guys know I don't really like to bake fully. I just like to apply this and then just press it in. It just looks a little bit more natural. For my bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Bronzer and I'm just gonna apply this directly on the hollows of my cheeks, sides of my nose, just gonna contour my face and make like funny looking patterns on my skin. And then just using my Beauty Blender to blend this in place. And then for my blush, I'm gonna use this Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. It's a really pretty peachy nude shade. And I'm actually gonna use the same brush to get this on. There's something I don't like about horizontal videos. It just makes everything look so much whiter. I feel like this is so much more flattering, but I hope you guys also like it. So please let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows real fast because we all know it needs it. I'm gonna be fancy today and use a Dior 
brow pencil. I haven't used this in a minute on my channel, but it's such a good one if you're willing to splurge, that is. By the way, it's still like 80 degrees in LA. I mean, you wake up and it's like 60 and it's super cold. And then lunchtime, it's summer, and then evenings get really cold too. So it's like that terrible weather season for us. All right, I'm gonna top this off with my Glossier Boy Brow. I don't know why this brow looks darker than this brow, but let's see if we can even that out. I always brush my brows upwards. It's so flattering. Okay, moving on to my eyes, I'm gonna use the Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette, but I'm also gonna play with this Glossier Glitter because it looks so, so cool. So I'm gonna create, like I said, kind of like a natural, earthy toned look. So I'm gonna start with the transition shade in the palette, which is Loyal. And with the Persona brush, I'm just gonna get this on the crease. And then I'm also gonna apply that on my bottom lash line. Just kind of shade it with the tip of the brush. I'm gonna try something different today. I'm gonna go ahead and mix Resilient, which is this bronzy shade with Honest, which is the lightest kind of like shimmery shade in the palette. This is what they look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these two together and see what we get. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it with a brush. And then I'm just gonna pick up Resilient with a pencil brush like this. And I'm just gonna pop this on the bottom lash line. So just kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna pick up Empowered. And I'm just gonna pop that kind of on the crease, warm it up a bit. So to make this look a little fun, I'm gonna go ahead and play with this glitter. This is by Glossier or Glossier Play. So this is what it looks like. It's super cool, very glittery. And I'm gonna try to apply this on the inner corners. And I'm using a lip brush for it. This is so fun, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a black liner on the inner rim. This is the Persona Cosmetics black liner. You totally can skip this step if you don't want it super smoky. And then I'm also gonna extend it a tiny bit on the outer corners. I don't know why I'm so serious when I do makeup. And then curl the lashes. I'm gonna use the Dior mascara, just applying a couple of layers on both top and bottom. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll come back and pop on some individual lashes. But for my lips, I feel like just doing something neutral, nude, just because obviously the eyes are pretty fun and kind of smoky. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC uh, lip pencil. All my pencils are kind of like short these days. Clearly I have favorites. This is stripped down by MAC. OG's coming back in stock, so I thought I would use this. I haven't used OG in a minute on my channel. So OG will be back in stock on the 7th. So check the description box because there's also a little surprise with it. So yeah, oh, and I just made my beautiful shirt dirty. Good job, Sona. This is my favorite nude lip combo, stripped down by MAC with OG. And then if you want a little shine, I would just put like a little bit of honey or any gloss of your choice on the center. It's just so pretty. So I could leave my lips matte because again the eyes have sparkle so i feel like it's a good balance but for some reason i always like a tiny bit of shine um just on the center so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of honey the only other thing i feel like i need on my base is a little more blush so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of this this is the hourglass in iridescent flash i think this is probably the first like holiday inspired makeup. Lastly, I'm going to apply just a few individual lashes just around the sparse areas. Mm -hmm. 
so this is the finished look love how it turned out i love that the sparkle and the glitter is just on the inner corner so it's super natural kind of like wearable glitter i would say it's not necessarily overpowering all over the lid but let me know if you guys would actually wear this look or if it's a little too much still and also i definitely want to know how you guys like this format and you can be critical you can be like the audio is terrible or whatever so that way i can like adjust things because i don't have a mic or anything it's literally super raw i have my camera in front of a window and i'm just filming at work so let me know what you guys think of the look and of the format and be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye a great creamy sounding